After a very entertaining first race where we saw our overall champion crowned, it was time for the reverse grid and it was Teo Calve and René Reiner on the front row to really show us the fireworks. The Frenchman trying to overcome a gap to Shane Brereton in the Goodyear Cup and René Reiner trying to claw some points back to go higher up in the championship ahead of Anthony Zaniak. It was Lachko that got a fantastic start from the second row of the grid, trying to go around the outside of Reiner and Calve. Teo tiptoed his way into turns one and two. Reiner initially taking the advantage in the first couple of corners. Calve managed to get back in front though, and suddenly there was a humongous train behind the first three. Everybody in the field was sticking very close together until Teo Calve started to make a slight breakaway ahead of Reiner and Hahn. In the middle of the field, Adam Lachko made his way past Anthony Zaniak and Norbert Kish was picking them off one by one, taking advantage of all the moves happening in front of him. Stefan Fass getting a good view of the action from our rear-facing camera further down the order. Eventually, Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kish would be the ones closing in on race leader Calve, and it wasn't too long before Jochen managed to make the move at the latter part of the lap as they headed into the sunset at the end of the day. It was still very close racing down the straight though as Teo wanted to make sure there was nothing that Han could do to make his life easier. Eventually though there was a huge queue of trucks started by Norbert Kish, Adam Lachko and Sasha Lenz all climbing around behind Teo Calve's Freightliner. The young Frenchman doing a fantastic job at holding them off but how long could he do it for? Norbert Kish would certainly test his patience. There was bodywork flying and contact aplenty. Norbert throwing everything that he could at the Big Era machine. At one point, it looked like Norbert was going to get it done at turn two, but Teo stood his ground time after time and made sure that he was on the inside when it mattered. Adam Lachko trying to get involved and help his teammate out, but ultimately nobody could stop Jochen Hahn from taking his third win of the season. After a tough championship, it was great to see him back on the top step and congratulated by everyone in the paddock and, of course, his very loyal team and very loyal family. Christina caught up with him, though, right after the race. Congratulations, you won this race, a tough race, of course, but... The last rounds, I thought you were, I don't know, reading a newspaper. It was, it seems, from the outset, it seemed so smooth. I know it's completely different when you're driving the truck. How was it for you? Ah, you know, race, it's race. It's not, it's not uh, easy to do. But in the end, I'm very happy to be, stay in Misano with a, a win in the, ah, nearly the last day in the season. So, yeah, we are still back on the winning route and it, it, it feels good. So, and from this side, I'm very happy we found the way back. And found the way back, he certainly did. Jochen Hahn, like I said, taking his third win of the season, tasting the champagne and enjoying the podium with Kish and Calve. Your race result then. Jochen Hahn wins by just over five seconds from Teo Calve. Norbert Kish rounds out the podium ahead of championship rival Sasha Lenz. Adam Lachko finished in fifth place ahead of a fantastic drive by Jamie Anderson, who started 14th on the grid. Albuthetti was seventh ahead of Shane Brereton with Stefan Fass and Lucas Hahn, who got another top 10 for his troubles this afternoon. Alia Kolok was once again in 11th place with Anthony Janiak just behind. Steffi Halm retired with a puncture and Rennie Reiner, unfortunately, was five laps down. But now it's time for the final day of the season and we'll be back tomorrow for two more races.